It seemed like the end of days. The smog closed its grip on the city streets and I was trapped and tired. I felt trapped by the routine, by the living out of suitcases, by the dreadful bedsits of the ladies who smelt of cabbage and lily of the valley. I was close to solving a case. A big one. The East Castle Street robbery. But I needed to get away from the city before it dragged me under and drowned me in its filth and decay. And then she walked into my office. To say that she had a face that would have stopped a clock would have been to insult her. It would have stopped a runaway horse. She was beautiful. The kind of beauty to make a bishop kick a hole in a stained glass window. Her husband was a lighthouse keeper at the darkest northernmost point of this sorry isle. And he was gone, just disappeared. And she'd been left with the baby, the mortgage and a broken boiler. And she wanted him back. And if she couldn't have him back, she wanted answers. I didn't need asking twice. I didn't even bother to pack a bag. Before I'd even thought it through, I was on the A1 and on my way to the Isle of Unst. <laughs> 